Hello, and welcome to this Mason Libraries tutorial on Leganto. In this example, you will learn how to install the Cited bookmark and use it to add sources to your Leganto reading list. The Cited feature allows you to collect and add any online resource to your Leganto directly from the website. We are going to look at Leganto in the full screen view to better view the tool. To view your reading list in full screen, click the Open in New Tab icon on the top right of the screen. First, you will need to install the Cited Bookmarklet. To do so, click the drop down arrow next to your name and select Cited. Drag and drop the Cited button directly into your bookmark bar. Now you can close the window and access the Cited button. You are now ready to add resources. To add a resource with this tool, go to a website and click on the Cited button. In the window that pops up, you can add or edit any of the information, and at the bottom you can select the correct course reading list and section that you would like to add this resource to. This feature is beneficial if you find a good resource for your class while browsing the web, and you can add it to your list without opening Blackboard. You can also add the resource to your collection to keep it preserved for a future list or class. We are going to add this video to our course by selecting Add and Close. We will get an alert letting us know that the resource has been successfully added and we can see that it has updated in our course list. We just added a video to our list, but we can also add other resources, including articles from online journals, or even links to sources from websites like Google Scholar or Amazon. If you are adding a journal article, you will want to make sure your students will have access to full text. Select the Cite It button and the new window will have an alert letting you know whether the content is covered by Mason Library subscription. In this example, the source is available through Mason. Let's double check the information, select the list, select add, and close. When we return to the resource list, we will see that it has automatically updated. Additional Leganto tutorials are available on the How Do I page on the library's website. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have other questions, please refer to the Leganto Information Guide located at infoguides.gmu.edu slash Leganto. This is found under Subject Guides under Library Resources and